Arturo Pretore here, but you can call me Art. This is Explorations in Art History, starring me. And the hand. For seven videos, you've drawn me in all kinds of costumes and all kinds of situations. Some not very nice ones, I might add. Now you're drawing me in my normal, everyday getup? Oh, I understand. Today, we're going to be talking about the art of the present day, contemporary art. From Egyptian art to modern art, we've covered centuries of styles, philosophies, and personalities from the past. And yet, we've only created a thumbnail sketch of the whole history of art. There is so much that the time constraints of video and the stamina of the hand won't allow us to cover. Eh, oh, poor fellow. Can we have a little medical attention here, please? Is that better? Up till now, we've been able to examine art carefully through the microscope of time. The difficulty with analyzing contemporary art is that we are too close to it. We are part of the picture, and so we don't have the perspective of time to show us what artists or movements will become truly influential and important. Nevertheless, one thing that brings many contemporary artists together is something that scholars call appropriation. What? Wait a minute. What is this under my arm? Appropriation does not mean stealing. But not in this case. Appropriation in art, it's more like taking an old image and giving it a new twist or a new look or a new meaning. Cindy Sherman borrowed from the imagery of old Hollywood film noir movies of the 30s and 40s in a set of photographs called Untitled Film Stills. She dressed up as a bit part actress and took a picture that looks as if it were picked by randomly pressing pause on the DVD player. Though all the elements of the image are real, we know that it is staged for the camera. Hey babe, how's about I appropriate myself into your picture? Huh? <laughs> Uh, I, I guess that means no. Call that misappropriation. Bill Viola was driving by a street corner and saw three women talking with their skirts blowing in the wind. It reminded him of a painting by the Italian mannerist Pontormo entitled Visitation. He decided to do his own recreation of the painting as a video and called it The Greeting. The staging is similar, but the women are obviously contemporary. When artists borrow, they are engaging in a conversation about that thing or idea of the past. British Nigerian artist Yinka Shonibara's Ship in a Bottle shows the ship of British hero Admiral Lord Nelson outfitted with sails of African tapestry, which he explains depicts the multicultural world that we live in today. Like a teriyaki burger with Swiss cheese, a taco salad, and Italian dressing. Oh, and German chocolate cake with French vanilla ice cream. Oh my, that, that, that looks tempting. Wait, that's Klaus Oldenburg's sculpture, Spoonbridge and Cherry. Oldenburg appropriates the imagery of common objects and recreates them at a huge scale, as if a giant dropped something accidentally, making us look at them in a new way. Ever wonder what an ant feels like at a picnic? Well, there you go. Contemporary art often tackles social problems. Kara Walker uses the simplicity of silhouette paper cutouts to tackle complex historical issues like slavery and other social ills. In the case of Darkie Town Rebellion, she adds a modern touch by projecting colored lights onto the scene. As viewers pass through, their own shadows become part of the scenario. Oh, look at me, I've grown a man on my head. In 2008, a tragic earthquake killed thousands of Chinese school children. Chinese artist Ai Weiwei saw rows of the children's backpacks lined in the rubble. In protest against a government responsible for the shoddy construction of the schools, Ai Weiwei created So Sorry, a large mosaic of colored children's backpacks that forms a quote in Chinese characters from one of the grieving mothers. It says, she lived happily for seven years in this world. As a result of this and other artistic protests against the government, Ai Weiwei has been threatened, beaten, imprisoned, had his studio bulldozed, and is not allowed to leave China. An artist's life is not always easy. Years from now, future art historians will likely invent a label to describe our contemporary art scene, while the artists of their day will be busy creating new contemporary art. One thing we can count on, art is always changing. 
In the future, there may be monumental holographs adorning a cityscape, or someone may even discover how to sculpt clouds. As long as there is a hand to create and a human mind to imagine, the story of art will continue. We've had some great times, but bye for now.